what's going on youtube this is your boy comrade Rider zero spike back again once again today people today we're here for common writer geats episode 28 now this day the, 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 the this is the day we get the debut of common writer geats boost laser and we're gonna get to that form real quick we're gonna, we're gonna get we're gonna get there but in this episode basically takes place right after Geats was about to get uh Geats was got the Geats was about to bite the dust and we see that he is saved by Neon and Kawa. Uh when they be when he's both saved by Neon and Kawa, he is basically passed out for a while and we see that um the rest of you know Buffa and uh, Be Buffa and uh Bedoba, they have initiated the next game which is they have to the Riders have to come to them this time. They have to come to their fortress this time to uh, take out, basically help get rid, basically get the vision driver from them. If they ended up uh, defeating the leader, if they end up defeating the leader, then they will be able to get the vision driver away from Bedoba. So we see that the rest of the crew they uh, they're still in the Sengoku game, but while they're in the Sengoku game, we see that they have to, they still in the Sengoku outfits and all that stuff and they had they had to protect uh Nirum. they had to protect Nirum while also like escorting him to the escorting him to uh Bedaba. so we see that uh he's able to actually it he's able to he's he's able to protect himself without anybody else really without him needing really anybody he's in his like samurai shogun um outfit and he's taking out some of he's taking out a lot of these uh grunt these like these grunt level you know jamato so that's when everybody basically hinches up except Nirum. Nirum doesn't hinch up i wish he did though i feel like if he if he went on one hand just turned into gazer then i feel like a lot <laughs> would have been solved pretty uh quickly but uh we said the uh neon and ky end up hinching up and uh fighting off a bunch of the um you know a bunch of the grunt jamato and while they're fighting all of them, we see that gate, uh, gates, we see that Geats is, uh, he still, but he basically is asleep and then he wakes up when he wakes up, he ends up talk. He ends up, uh, talking with, um, Jean. We see that Jean was very badly injured in the last, uh, battle that they were in. And he talks to him about, yeah, you know, he basically talks to him about, um, yeah, you guys, you know how, how they all came here from the future, um, and then he tells. Um, we see that Gates, uh, Gates end up asking him about, hey, you know, what was the emotions that you were looking for, and when he talked about, you know, they talked about, yeah, I was about to, you know, we don't really have to worry about death. We had we worry about death, but at that point. I really felt like my life was about to end because even though in the future that their lives are already preset, like they know when they're going to die, but, and they're technically not mortal, you know, they're technically not mortal and they basically go to any era that they want to go to. But we see that gates, we see, I keep saying gates. He's not here. He's part of geo. It's geats. Come on. <laughs> so I'm sorry, guys. It's very, very late at night. Well, yeah depending on when you're watching this it's very late at night so but <laughs> we end up seeing that they end up going back they end up uh taking a stroll together uh <laughs> gets his idea and he ba um, he basically tells him everything about himself about his past lives basically reiterate basically going up and reiterating everything that um gene basically already fi uh, figured out we find out that gates is <laughs> gates why well, i keep saying gates i'm I'm just Ace. We found out that Ace is actually <laughs> two thousand years, basically two thousand years old. But we kind of already knew this, well, because we have had, we have actually seen some of his, well, little bits and pieces of his other lives. But we see that every time one of his uh, previous lives dies, um, when he's born again, he is able to uh, inherit the memories of his past life. Um, we also see that the Roman coin that he has always seems to find its way back to him. No matter what um, reincarnation that he is in, that same reincarnation has that Roman coin and that Roman coin will always find him. 
Um, basically, we find that he spe- he basically says that this Roman coin was given to him by his mother Mitsume, um, from his very first life, his very first life, and he ends up getting when he ends up getting that coin when he ends up getting that coin. Um, I guess m- my theory is that 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 coin is the reason why he's able to inherit all of his past memories. But yeah, so he basically says that every other parent that he had throughout all of his reincarnations always named him ace or some form of the name ace always named him that always named him that name so uh he's still trying to figure out um why he is in this life loop his words why he is in this life loop what is the point of it all why is he constantly being reincarnated um but yeah still trying to figure out why you know he's still being reincarnated multiple times and he wants to actually ask the god of creation why is this when he tells gene all this which is why well gene actually starts to cry and there's actually a emotion that he was looking for is actually an emotion that he has never felt before and he tells he tells um geats basically tells him that I've had enough. I've had a good share of my. Uh, I've had my fair share of misery, and yeah, I've you know I've had my fair share. Of, I've had my fair share of misery, and and it's the only thing I can do now is just live my life now, worry about the present and stuff like that. When he he actually tells Gene that me and you are actually, you know, too much stuck in, but basically too much stuck in the past. They're basically too much stuck in the past, but now he's trying to live in the present now. So after he, so after they end up going back to the uh, regular base, we see that the game is about to basically start, and that's when uh, yep, that's when get Gates again, help me. <laughs> that's when Ace, Neon, Kawa, and um, Niram all get ready to go battle. All get ready to go take on Betaba. We actually see that while uh ace was telling gene all this stuff about himself we see that kwa and uh neon ha- are also watching this and they're also and they also all they finally know about what geats really is they you know and even and even um neon is like well yeah he did all this and still looking for his mom that's very you know honorable stuff like that kwa's just blown back <laughs> he's watching with uh with katagiri and Neon is basically in her supporters' um, room as well, all watching this. So they all they all get together and start battling all these uh start battling all these Jamato. We see that he ends up transform. We see that uh KY and everybody you know hitching up stuff like that, taking out some of the Jamato. We see that uh, Geets goes off. He Geets goes ahead and goes on ahead. And when he goes on ahead, he transforms and he ends up. We see a return of the creation buckle. The big like construction creation buckle. We see him. He is. He goes and starts end up using that, um, taking out a bunch of the uh, taking out a bunch of the uh, you know the Jamato and stuff like that. While he's taking them out, he gets intercepted by Bedoba, who ends up uh, trying to beat him down before he's able to use uh, Boost Mark Two. So when he gets so he she ends up putting him like in this uh, in the box or whatever, and she ends up blowing him up. Then he actually. Um, is able to wear her down enough to where he's able to turn into Mark uh, Boost Mark Two. He turns into it and he starts beating the crap out of her for a while, and then he uh, ends up tra- he ends up getting really tired and he ends up falling um, out of his basically falling back into his like civilian form. We see that Gene actually intercepts this, and Gene basically tells him that hey, you know, uh, I kind of found a way to help you get over that basically and the whole ass pull happens and we he ends up uh giving um he ends up uh taking the the boost buckle that he has right now he ends up taking it putting it in revolve mode and he takes his own uh laser dry the uh, laser riser and puts it on geats's belt and he ends up transforming into um geats well the laser the laser rise you know mark ii form and this form looks pretty freaking dope. It looks cool. All he and we see that Gene actually mentions that he said, "Hey, I even I even gave you some of my colors, you know, to complement it." So he basically has like a little bit of um, a little bit of Zen, a little bit of Comrade Zen's armor, 
uh, you know, the blue and the white and the black. He ends up putting that on. And basically just are basically just like an armor piece that gets put on the Mark II suit. So we see that now that he is now he's in this form, you know, his jet leg, you know, his uh, fatigue and stuff doesn't, you know, doesn't happen. Um, why this doesn't happen. Also, he is able to use um, Zen's, uh, yeah, com- he's able to use Gene's um, gravity, you know, manipulation. He's actually able to use that. And that's when we see him as go in and as he start to take on Betabo. Yeah, also, we find out that Betabo is like 350 years old. She's 350 years old. So maybe she's like this. Maybe the real Betabo, like, because we know that, because we kind of know that the, um, the bodies that these the supporters and stuff like that have are somewhat avatars so maybe the better maybe better but isn't even the real better but maybe better but is like so is like a is like a guy doing that doing playing as a girl type thing you know get you know that happens probably a guy playing as a girl type thing because <laughs> he get because she gets pissed off when uh he uh g mentions her age so uh, she hinges up into the you know the glare two form, and that's they actually go at it. Uh, we see that he ends up fighting the two Jamato riders with while they're using the Magnum and the Monster Buckle. He ends up taking both of them out, and this is a really cool freaking boss fight. Like the camera angles, uh, the way like the camera angles, the music. He's like I think it was like it wasn't really a remix of the opening, but it's like a like the you know the rest of the lyrics in the opening because you know they don't play the entire song in the opening. But we see that it is like the rest of the lyrics. So it is actually pretty freaking cool. Like some, you've had some animate, you've had some, you've had some animations going on in the uh, fight as well. Um, we see that like for five, for like a few seconds, Geeks gets like a, a bright Miles Morales movie looking uh, image. Which looks dope, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he ends up going and um, actually defeating Betaba. When he defeats Betaba, um, he you know he says that hey, we beat you, so now you have to give us the Vision Driver, and she's like nah. So that's when Buffa comes in. He grabs her. She's like, "You're protecting me," and he's like, "Well, he's like, yeah, well, not really. I'm protecting the Vision Driver." So he ends up um shooting a bunch of roots at Geets. And he is he is uh, getting away with her. So, turns out, uh, Buffa's plan was to get the Vision Driver and go to the Goddess of Creation and try and get his wish. But uh, he ends up using the Vision Driver to go to the Goddess of Creation and basically tells her, basically says that once I get the other Vision Driver, then I ask to come back here to you and I have a wish, and you have no choice but to grant my wish. Huh, Better Bub was pretty pissed off that what he you no. Know, that he was able that he saved her and also is because he basically used her to get the uh, vision driver which he does reiterate he says hey didn't you tell me to use you to get my ideal stuff so we said buffa kind of has like a different attitude in this episode as well he seems like he seems more evil like he seems like he's become like a little bit more evil but hey it's whatever and the episode basically ends with uh geet's saying goodbye to gene he's saying goodbye to jen because say goodbye to gene because gene says that hey he gives um he takes his id card out but he gives um he gives geets the uh his his you know his driver his laser eyes he yes he gives it his laser riser he ends up giving it to him and now geets is able to use you know the mark two or the laser eyes mark two form he's able to actually use that now and he tells um he tells geets that i'm going to go off and basically i like, try living my life or living a life and stuff like that and not you know posing it around in other eras and stuff and you know geets basically tells him hey come visit sometime he's like you be cool with that he's like yeah man you're officially you know come you're officially geets number one supporter and stuff like that so that's when uh geets ends up le- uh, we see that gene ends up leaving and a episode ends with uh buffer talking to the goddess of creation we get like a clue we get a better close-up on her face this time we get like a very close-up on her face because usually we just see like the wings and stuff from afar but now we have to get a close-up on her face see what she like what she actually looks like but other than that a lot happened in this episode that was kind of weird it was like we don't because we see um we did actually see um 
Kawa using the uh the jet and cannon buckle. He's actually he's 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 using that. But I didn't know. But when did he did he always have it? I mean, we saw him have it, but like, did he always have it? And why did he just? And why was he just using ninja? And then we know he has ninja. You know, we all know we know he has ninja. But when did I'm I'm just trying to feel like when did he not have like why hasn't he been using it? Because that form is way stronger than ninja. So why haven't you been just been using the strongest form out there? I mean, yeah, you used it in this episode, but why haven't you been using it? And we I didn't even know he had it. And same thing with Neon. Like Neon has the fever buckle, and I'm still trying to wonder when did she was there a moment where she had the fever buckle? Well, that time she had the fever buckle and she trained, she used it to like get that you know get that Mark II like thing where she is she's using the uh, the beat buckle twice like the modified beat buckle uh, armor, but. Also, but she ends up using the fever buckle in this episode to get a uh, boost. She ends up using it to get boost. So I'm like, when did she have the fever buckle? <laughs> but you guys let me know down. Let me know in that comment section below. And also with Buffa, Buffa also has a, a jet and cannon, you know, buckle as well. But he's still walking around and using, you know, his zombie Jamato stuff. I just feel like. If you have that form, you should be going off and using that. You know, that's your strongest thing right now. And you see Geats then got two power ups in the last four episodes. So well, last three episodes. So I gotta feel like, you know, you should be using your strongest stuff, especially at this point. Considering the fact that we don't have three like really three writers helping us out here. But uh it just it was it just kind of seemed like a little small pull of my like ass pull. I kind of and the whole thing about like Mark II Geats, you know, uh, Boost Mark II, and the whole like his jet leg thing, like he was, it not, it's not really expounded upon. We just know that oh, using that makes him really tired. <laughs> but the solution is fixed just by adding on like the, you know, adding on the, the laserizer, laserizer, like just adding on to that, and then that's just it. Like, but I kind of wish it was a little bit more ex, like that was. The whole thing about the, you know, him getting tired thing was more expounded upon. So also, does that mean he can't use like Mark II by itself anymore? Be like by itself anymore. And if he can, like he has to do, he has to do everything really quickly before it actually starts to, you know, wear him down. Things like that. But yeah, I feel like if he just kept using it. I feel like maybe his body would eventually get used to that speed and he wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. But I feel like it'll take like a lot of training or whatever. But hey, he got an upgraded version of it now. So it doesn't really seem like he needs to do Mark II anymore. Mark II, phenomenal freaking form. This form right here, also very, very cool looking. But I do like how it has a, the way the armor looks, kind of like a more like a samurai-ish feel. I don't know, maybe it's just me. <laughs> but it kind of it kind of fit with the theme of the game that they were playing, you know, the Sengoku thing. But other than that, you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this episode of Kamen Rider Geats. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What are some of the things that you didn't like? What are some of the plot holes or whatever do you think happened? Do you think this new form is an ass pull? And do you think well, he's going to get another form on top of this? Because I don't think this is going to be uh, Geats' ultimate form. You know, I feel like there's going to be something out there stronger. We're only, on, we're only on episode 28, people. So there's a lot more to do. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And remember, stay henshined.